I'm delighted to be joined by my DCN co-host, DevRel and community correspondent, Elsa Meyer. And I'm delighted to be joined by Lucas Bimwald, CEO and co-founder of Weights and Bias. Lucas, such a pleasure to have you here at Snowflake Summit on Dev Day. Thank you so much. At Weights and Biases, your mission is to build the best tools for AI developers. As co-founder and CEO, how does this mission impact everything the team does? Well, it's all we do. Every decision we, we make inside the company, we think, is this going to help AI developers in their day-to-day -day workflows? And, and this is in contrast to maybe a top-down company that might think, you know, how do we help executives? We're just 100% about how do we help developers, how do we make developers successful in their day-to-day -day lives? That's really great perspective. Lucas, you just delivered a luminary talk as a part of Dev Day at Snowflake Summit. Can you walk us through the highlights? Well, sure, the most fun part for me, since it's a builder summit, I heard, <laughs> was to talk about a project that I actually did myself. And as a CEO, you don't get to do very many of those. <laughs> uh, but I did a project for a couple weeks um, by myself to kind of get back to my roots as a developer and kind of understand what it feels like to develop LLM apps. And so I got to do totally new material about what that experience was like and how I got my little toy project to be better and better. That sounds like a ton of fun. So, AI remains top of mind for everyone, spanning data practitioners to executives. What advice would you like to give the audience watching as they look to implement this technology to future-proof their businesses? Well, I think a really simple thing is that there's something about Gen AI applications that makes companies stupid. We see this all the time. We see so many companies that are working on ridiculous projects that no one wants. So first of all, this is obvious advice, but you'd be amazed how many people do things that nobody wants, and they don't check to see if anyone wants it before they start the project. And then I think when they're onto something, when they're onto a real use case, they struggle with actually evaluating the quality of the work and kind of iterating that forward. So people ask me questions all the time, like, you know, should I use RAG, should I use Llama, all these buzzwords. And it's like, look, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. But the fact that you can't answer that question for yourself makes me think that you don't have any kind of evaluation process internally. Because these things aren't hard to try. They can be hard to evaluate. But if you're not evaluating the work, I don't see how you move forward. Great perspective, Lucas. And I love getting the opportunity to sit down with founders, because you're a unique group. You can very much see what's next. For the builders watching today, what guidance would you like to share on how to take an idea and scale it into a practical business? Well, look you got to get something out the door, right? I mean, it's obvious advice, everyone gives it to you, but it's more true than people realize. Like, you got to ship fast, you got to ship early, and you got to see how people react to what you have and then iterate from there. It's actually the same as developing Gen AI applications where you want to get something working end to end, see how it's doing, and then iterate with feedback. Lucas, such a pleasure having you here on Data Cloud Now at Dev Day at Snowflake Summit. What's next for Weights and Biases? Well, we're just all in on Gen AI applications. We've seen the change to Gen AI happening faster than anything we've ever seen before. It's unbelievable how quickly companies are adopting Gen AI applications. And we're just determined to keep up with tooling that makes that process reliable and gets these demos into production. Love to hear it. Thank you so much, Lucas, for being on the program here today. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. I'm Elsa Mayer. And this is Data Cloud Now.